uh, in this one uh, we are going to see how you can run a full OS like the Windows XP on an ESP32 so basically how we are going to do this we are using the uh, ESP32's super high speed uh, CPU to run our operating system so here in my case I have used Windows XP and actually you can uh, this is uh, this usually runs at uh, 240 megahertz but i have overclocked it to run at 360 megahertz and this is windows xp it works so if you want to see i had installed chrome and if i will open say androidify then it will actually open androidify so this is not the fastest os or sort of but it may work so it's a bit slow but still it's quite well and uh, uh, like it is awesome that how how much power this small little board has that we can like run a full fledged OS in this so now uh, now uh, to tell you that uh, now I, I will I will remove this ESP32 it's connected to this like an external you know that external GPUs come on Thunderbolt 3 and all sorts of I don't know whatever uh, but this is an external CPU it is used as an external CPU and I have the flash memory as in the pen drive this is a 8 gig one and it has the whole OS running and this pen drive has a script that uses a COM port uh, to power it, uh, the CPU so now actually this is also uh, this also is working as a CPU and also uh, my PC's uh, CPU is actually working to run Windows 7 so to prove that uh, so this is it so now I, I, I will just uh, uh, for your sake of convenience I will uh, remove the uh, wire okay so just remove the wire so now you can see it plays the sound and this is my Windows 7 let's stop so to see that this is Windows 7 see the programs the chrome everything works the notepad everything works the zip folder so now uh, we are going to uh, I will show you how you can do this so first of all you need to download uh, the windows ISO file uh, windows XP ISO file or any other one I have used windows XP so I have prepared the script for that then you just open uh, WinRAR and then in in this file uh, Win51P okay so open that file it will open the file there is nothing but windows then uh, I, uh, there will be a script uh, in the description just copy that I don't know the description below and then uh, paste it after doing two lines and paste it so yeah you, uh, you need to uh, I have already done that so uh, I have already yeah, I pasted it and then I have flashed it. So after you will paste it, uh, then uh, you need to open uh, Win32 Disk Imager. Then select the drive. It is G. It is already flashed. Then I, I can select that uh, ISO and then flash it. So that's how it will work. And after uh, this is the script. It's really if you understand, it's quite simple and it uses the extreme power it's at 360 megahertz you can see so it's at 360 megahertz and I'm, I'm using it so that's how it will work and so now uh, now uh, after you have done this uh, you need to connect your ESP and the pen drive and in the boot options uh, you need to first uh, like in the boot uh, you need to first select the priority of USB drive and then your hard disk so so this should be our parity uh, you do FPL or whatever is in your PC so now I will again uh, show you so I will uh, again uh, let's uh, this is how it works so now uh, now I, I will restart it uh, like I will just log off and again log in so for for sake of convenience so first I will plug this in I have kept it off lo to log off and now I will be entering the password okay so I have entered the password okay and I guess it will yeah the light blinked and so we are in we are in the windows xp okay 
so and actually what is the advantage is like you can use our pieces existing ram and the gpu so what was that that the os used was already running in the ram so the os is still running in the ram and as soon as the cpu came it uh, like gave the task to this so the cpu is now processing the other data otherwise it would just be static kept in the ram so that's it uh, so this demonstrate the power uh, demonstrates the power of uh, our small little body the esp32 so and actually this is a really good like uh, how much power does this small board have so i'll be having some uh, future uh, further videos and the link to all the uh, the bin file like you need to of course uh, do a, a bin file you need to flash a bin file so uh, using the ESP, uh, the esp flasher official and after you will uh, flash it then it will work so i will keep that uh, down below uh, the also that uh, the links i told uh, for and the scripts that piece of script uh, so that's it thank you for watching please like share and subscribe no will this work like please like share and subscribe to my channel uh, so that i will because i will be posting such videos in the future thank you for watching